Welcome back. Here at 8 Channel News, we like to shed a little light, and it's inescapable when you're talking photonics, the science of moving information with light. It is a growing business here in the capital, and you're about to see that on Inside Ottawa. If you were brought up on Hollywood, it looks pretty intense. Maybe a biohazard containment site, or some sort of nuclear facility. So we now have three waves in the reactor. In reality, what they do here is light work, literally. Because here, Canada's high-tech future is riding on a wave of photons. It's a unique facility in Canada. It's a unique facility in North America. Okay, And it's here to meet the need of the Canadian industry in this photonic space. The Canadian Photonics Fabrication Centre does that by putting the leading edge of photonics in the hands of anyone with modest means but big ideas. If you're a very small company with an idea on a piece of napkins and you say you would like to make those, okay, we will help you with our design team to put this piece of napkins into reality. Doing that requires technology right on the edge of science fiction. If you're wrangling information with light, then your designs have to work on the scale of a photon. Well, we've actually put over six billion features on a six-inch wafer recently, so they're very, very small. What effect would a particle of dust have if it landed on one of those wafers? Oh, and sometimes it's bigger than the feature itself, so the feature wouldn't be there. Hence those ominous-looking suits. Going into the so-called clean rooms means boots, veils, balaclavas, coveralls, two sets of gloves, and for the finishing touch, safety glasses. The purpose? Keeping contaminants in, not out. The dirtiest thing in the clean room by far is people. If we just had nothing but robotics in there, it would be easier to maintain. In the Class 100 clean room, we actually do seven and a half air changes every minute in that clean room just to filter out the particulates. The payoff is products like wafers for integrated circuits that perform flawlessly in a world where atoms can be landmarks. We can control the composition of the uh, semiconductor material we're depositing and thereby control its uh, properties. How thick would some of the layers you're depositing be? Uh, the thickest layers we'll be depositing of the order of a micron, which is a millionth of a meter. But uh, for many of the devices, we're depositing layers which are only uh, 50 to 60 angstroms. That's uh, 100 millionth of a meter of angstrom. Helping the process is the air cleaning system, which occupies the entire second floor of the building. Now to the cleanest room in the house. This is the photolithography room, where the patterns on any given layer of a wafer are established. And that means the wafers are exposed to the ambient atmosphere more than they are in the rest of the facility. That's why it's a class 100 room. That means less than 100 particles per cubic foot of air. And the precautions aren't just atmospheric, they are also structural. We're actually standing on a floating slab, so we've actually excavated down to bedrock backfilled with engineered fill, and we're standing on a 12-inch floating slab that's separate and segregated from the rest of the building. By the way, that sepia glow about the photolithography lab is deliberate. There's no ultraviolet light allowed here. Even what seems to be an airlock is actually a light lock. That means nothing to spoil the photo development of complex circuits. So what we're looking at right now is some of the patterns that have developed. Um, what you see here, these teeth are actually in photoresist which is the film, if you will. In the case of these particular features, we're looking at two micrometers. The work that goes on here is too complex to sum up in a few minutes, but the applications go beyond optical networks, chips, and lasers. Even so-called simple technology, like LED lights, could change the way we live. So if Canada wants to meet the Kyoto Accord that we've signed, uh, just by replacing the lights in this country, we'll do this many times over. The CPFC, by the way, is a joint effort of the National Research Council and Carleton University. And remember, if you have an Inside Ottawa story idea, we would like to hear it. You can get in touch with me by logging onto our website at achannel.ca.